So, 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 you want music when I introduce you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he also picked like a CD then after this. What CD? Oh, wait, we're, we're, we're already recording. <laughs> That's okay. That happens to me all the time. This, this, this is what happens when you're a part of the Bobo Production Studios. Hello! And welcome again to the hobo and the girlfriend. <laughs> ah, my girlfriend! Yes, 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 yes. Um, wrestling show. And I, I am a hobo, Tom. This is, this is, this is my girlfriend. Nice to meet you. And we're here to talk a little bit about some Double or Nothing previews. Um, Double or Nothing, it's um, the first pay-per-view by AEW All Elite Wrestling. And we actually got you one of their shirts, the Young, the Young Bucks. Yes, I didn't find it. That's okay. I'm actually surprised when I can find anything around here. Because actually just last week, I just put up the wall of wrestling. The, the door of wrestling. Oh, um, yeah. So... That's pretty cool. So we're here to give some predictions, some predictions about double or nothing matches. Um, this happening May twenty fifth this Saturday. Remember, unfortunately, and I'll put this in the notes section. I will not be able to do a live stream because I'm going to an NXT show here in Daytona Beach. But I will give you a recap video of what the matches are and how the matches actually went. Up. So let's start this off. I mean, remember, as always, I can we can always be in a couple of people's heads. If we get 100% of these matches right, huh? we are definitely inside the head of Vincent K. McMahon. Because only Vincent K. McMahon knows what goes on in his head. If we get, um, I have to do the breakdown, but one or two wrong, then we're in Triple H's head. That's his son-in-law, Paul Levesque. Oh, okay. Um... If it's anything just above 50-50, we're in Stephanie McMahon said, and that's the daughter who also runs well, WWF or WWE, not AEW. But I didn't have any time to make AEW things. And then um, if, if it's 50-50, you're considered a 50-50 booker. Anything just less than 50-50, you're a smart. Because you know what you know what a smart is, right? Yeah. Smart is a smart mark. Because we're all marks in pro wrestling. And if I get and if we get nothing right, that means we're the disinterested fan who's like this the whole match. <laughs> no, I've, 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 I actually have a picture of that. Yeah, I'll also show you that when 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 because she actually gets to see the whole editing process. Yes. So let's talk about some, some pro wrestling. And this is again for Double or Nothing. Um, we're going to start off with the Casino Battle Royal. Um, a battle royal is when like 20 to 30 people get in a ring. And they fight to see who, who tosses people out. Um, you know any pro wrestlers? Do you know any the names of any? No, the only one that I know is the one that I know. The in his face. You can't see me. <laughs> you know what? That, 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 I know his name. You know that's probably good a prediction as anything. So, so, so your prediction is John Cena. Yeah, that's fine. Because I'm gonna actually write this down, and then we'll see who, who, who's who's better at this. So you say John Cena. Mm -hmm. Let's put a G. I say Colt Cabana. Colt Cabana seems to win every indie wrestling battle roller for some reason. And uh, oh, remember, there's also the three stipulations. You have to pick your snooze match, which is a match you can literally sleep through. Your match of the night, which is probably the best match of the night. Mm -hmm. And your stone cold lock. And the stone cold lock means if you had down to your last 10 bucks, you have to bet that to be a 100% winner. I have no idea. It's, it's, called, it's called Cabana. That's for the Casino Battle Royal. The next match, you have Sammy Guerva versus Kip Sabian. I'm going to say Sammy Guevara only because I've seen him in Lucha Underground. So he'll win that match. Who do you have? 
between those two. And it's okay if you butcher the name. I do it all the time. Between these two? Yeah, those two. I learned him too. Okay. So... Sammy Guerra. No, I'm getting that wrong. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, you know which? Um, I think Puerto Rican wrestler died. No, who? Uh, Silver King. Really? Yeah, he I died a while that. ago. I made a tribute to him. Cause I don't know, cause I remember him. Yeah, cause I'm half Puerto Rican and half Cuban. Uh, okay, then we have the next match. It's a six woman tag match. You have. Aja Khan and Yaka Sakakazi and Emma Sakura versus Hikaru Shida, Ri Riho, and Ryu Mizunami. You gotta go first. And Those three? Yeah, 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 because this is one team. So it's, okay, so it's so AJ, or okay. Aja Khan, Yaka, and Yaka Emma. And Emma, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're not used to the, the level of professionalism here. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with the same only because I think that that's also Awesome Khan. And I remember when he wrestled too. Then it's a fatal three-way between Britt Baker... Kylie Ray and Nyla Rose. Mm. And I actually I'm going to give one more qualifier. This is going to be my my snooze of the night. So that's my snooze. Because generally the women's six women tag is just spot fest. But sometimes it's not even that. So that's my snooze. But then we have uh, Britt Baker versus Kylie Ray versus Nyla Rose. Only because I remember her from WCW. I'm going to say Kylie Ray. Because did I ever tell you the story about about what I met on Nixon Newell? Oh, yeah. I thoroughly, thoroughly embarrass her. Why? Why? Because uh, she's she's at the time was in WWE as someone else, but when they announced her, they said the girl with a shining wizard, and I'm like, there's only one girl with a shiny wizard, and that's Nixon Newell. So when I went, so I have a picture on myself, and I'll, I'll show it to you later. Mm -hmm. But um, when I went up to get her autograph, which is on, is it on that board? No, it's not. No, it's not on that board. There's somewhere. I think I gave it to my nephews already. But I went up to her. I'm like, you're Nixon Newell. I remember you from WCPW. And she was like, what? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you were the first WCPW Women's Champion. And she's like, do you remember that? And um, Kaya Sono was next to her. Mm -hmm. Kaya Sono like, was like laughing. Because poor Nixon Newell turned like bright red. And then Rita Gonzalez was next to him at the far end. And she's like, what the heck's going on? But I got my picture with her and I thoroughly embarrassed her. Trust me, if she came into my workplace, I'd have no idea who she is. She could be wearing her wrestling gear and a shirt that says the girl with the shiniest wizard. I'd be like, miss, here's a coupon. <laughs> but like, I would have no idea. So I'll just say um, Kylie Ray. How about you? Well, now you told me about her, so I have to go with her, too. Okay. <laughs> so then we have the best friends of Chucky e. T and Trent Beretta versus Angelico and Jack Evans. You go first. So mm -hmm. it's best friends or these two? Best friends. The best friends? I think it's going to be Angelico and, and Jack Evans, only because I've seen the two of them work in Lucha Underground. And the best friends is tempting, I think, just to make things different. 
I'll just say those two. Then you have SoCal Uncensored versus Sima, Tihok, and Elindemas. So I'm going to go with SoCal Uncensored. Only because the only one I've heard from the other team is Sima. And I will go with Sima. Okay. <laughs> That's always good. Oh, my. Nice. I remember you have a snooze match to do. And a Stone Cold Lock. Oh, wow. So I already gave my snooze. Okay, so then we have the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes takes on his brother, Dustin Rhodes. Both grandson of a plumber, baby. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. This has been a match that I think people in WWE have wanted to see forever. You pick first. I picked first last time. So it's Cody or Dustin. Brother versus brother. Mm. What about Dustin? Okay. That's gold dust. I don't know. It's so hard to go against the older brother. And Cody would just want to put his brother over. Then Dustin would want to put his brother over too. Being a wrestling fan, I don't wait too much. <laughs> um, I'm going to say only because it is AEW's first show. It's so hard to go against. I hate choosing this. I'll say Cody. I'll make him look strong because I think Dustin's only going to be a one time appearance. Is that going to be. Jeez. I hate that. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll think about that. Actually, yeah. Then we have a tag team match, the chair that you own. Mm -hmm. The Bucks of Youth, the Young Bucks, Nick, and Mike Jackson, I forget his name now. But it's the Young Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers, and they comprise of Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix. Or Ray Phoenix, I think he called him. Yeah, Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Juniors, the Lucha Brothers, the Young Bucks, are the Jackson Boys. Nick and Matt Jackson. That's right. I think Mike. Oh, wow, I have to pick first. Well, I don't care what I say. This is the match of the night. Only because the Young Bucks don't have to win, am I going to pick the Lucia Brothers? And Mash of the Night, though, folks. I will be the Lucia Brothers. Brother. Yeah, both are both are Lucia Brothers. They're awesome. They're amazing. And then in the main event, gee, this could have also been Mash of the Night. You have the cleaner, Kenny Omega, versus Chris Jericho. So you have Omega versus Alpha. Who are you going to pick? Omega. You choose Kenny Omega. I hate to say it, but I'm going to choose Kenny Omega, too. And this is going to be my Stone Cold Lock. My SCL. Because again, he's part owner. That's going to be a darn fun match, though. And that's going to be the card for Double or Nothing. And remember to, to tune in probably Sunday ish to see the recap. And also, this Saturday, you can see this guy, Hobo Tom. Here in Daytona Beach Arena for NXT Live. I'll probably be there sometime 6.30 to 7. Remember, if you want your shout-out here on YouTube, 
Um, just say hi to me. You'll get a shout out and a video dedication. And then Monday is going to be the normal, the, the, the double show, because it's going to be the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League Wrestling, which I just showed you. Mm -hmm. uh, my Monday Night Raw recap. Well, then Saturday I'm putting up the, the Daytona Beach one. Sundays, Bubble or Nothing. Mondays, Daytona Beach Bum Fight League and Raw. Tuesday is. Smackdown, and then I take a little break from wrestling. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.